Hello and welcome to IT Chronicles 10 and Tech. We're in Las Vegas at ServiceNow Knowledge 18. I'm here with co-host Kirsten McGowan. Hi, Carlos. And we're here with uh, Chris O'Neill from CAI. Welcome. Hi. Hey, thank you. Chris, um, you know, we, we met yesterday, we spoke a little bit. You know, tell us a little bit about CAI, what, what you guys do, and you know, um, maybe it's a name that a lot of organizations or a lot of individuals don't know, but you're not a small player in this, uh, in this world. You yeah, no, we're not. And um, so the interesting thing about CAI is that we've been in the tech business since 1981. Wow. Um, we're a privately held company. Um, we have close to 7,000 employees. We're in the 600, 700 million dollar range. I mean, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's not, it's small. not a small company. It's not a small company. Yeah. Um, um, we've been in the ServiceNow space for seven years. Mm -hmm. um, we do a variety of different things in that space. It's, it's, it's not a huge part of CAI, but it's definitely growing. We've got 70 people in the practice. Wow. Um, we do application development. We do platform support. Uh, we do some consulting. You know, everybody does that. We do a lot of training, right? Mm -hmm. So we're a, an authorized training partner, and we. Uh, we, we're doing, uh, some of our trainers are here, yeah. uh, running training for ServiceNow. Um, and you know, our, our big focus, uh, our, our two new focuses are in uh, spec uh, uh, security operations, sure. yep. because it's definitely a thing that, uh, uh, we brought some really great people into our practice to, to run with that. Yeah. They're real experts in that field. Um, and what we're calling journey mapping, which is uh, kind of taking people and having them look at their ServiceNow instance and then say, here's the art of the possible, here's what you could do, right. um, here's where you're at, and is it time to just throw it away and turn on a new instance, right? right? right. Because the amount of time to, if you, in, if you set up on ServiceNow two, three, four years ago, or in a low letter, right? Yeah. If, you were in, in if you were in Berlin or Calgary or, right. or, or Dublin, um, there might be a lot of uh, things that we've learned since then, sure. yes. and, and you'd have to back it out, right? So yeah. instead of backing it out, um, there's a real value proposition to say, hey, let's just turn on a new instance and we'll, we'll rebuild, yeah. and you can adopt instead right. of a, us adapting to the processes you had before. Right. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. It is, I mean, with any tool set like that, if you've got it a little bit wrong, it just tends to compound and compound and compound, and then you are far, far better to just blow it away and start, start well, with a and new slate. Well, the, the traditional problem, um, you know, the keynotes here have, key, mm. have, have hit into it a number mm. of times. You, you got executives that are saying, what we need today mm. uh, is something out of the box, mm. and then when they hand it down the, down the chain, mm. it gets to the middle, and the middle are, well, we can't do that because our business is so much different. And it's yeah, like, yeah. Mm. you know, but these are, it's transactional, right? And there's all this information, and, and in order to really capture best practices, yeah. if you look at change management on the ServiceNow platform, it has changed mm. three times seriously. There's been three major changes to it. Yeah. And if you start it in change management one, you don't have the functionality right. that is now available. Yeah. And it would take more time to, to undo what, what yeah. you did, yeah. right? Which yeah. is probably, to adapt to existing processes in your company, right? Yeah, you know, and that's and that's the king. You know, I, I love when I hear you know, I see it all the time. Chris sees it all the time. Yeah, we're yeah. in and out of companies all the time, mm -hmm. and we hear we do it different. Oh, we're so yeah. different. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and our then, business is not like that. Yeah, yeah. and then and then you stop boiling it down. It's like why, 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 yeah. why, wait. You're not any different, right? It's yeah. the, you have a different name. You have a different yeah. Right. The fact that you have to go ask Margaret. Is not different. Yeah. No. <laughs> right? Peggy, Peggy's everywhere. Peg, right? yeah. and you don't have Peggy. We have Peggy. We have Peggy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, you know, so the, one of the things that we found though is um, when we first started doing ServiceNow and, and doing wider implementations and doing custom application development, yeah. that what we we would sit down and we would say, hey, it's, it's an eighty twenty rule, right? Like, so we're going to take eighty percent out of the box and twenty percent is going to be that thing that's special mm -hmm. about you. And each year we get closer and closer to ninety nine and one. Yeah. yeah. Right. So now we start with. Instead of us, instead of you showing us what you do, and us putting that onto the platform, uh, what we say is this is what the art of the possible is. This is what you can do. Mm -hmm. Right. And now you tell me which outcomes aren't being served. Right. Right. Because that's where this huge dynamic change. And I think over the next two years, you're going to see in this space that's going to be where there's so much. I, I, I think if you watched the keynotes and you saw here. Everything, they haven't been talking about modules. They're not talking about applications. They're talking about platform fundamental yeah. bundles, right? This is a time to, to re-platform, a time to mm -hmm. right. set yourself up for success in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it, it's funny, the, um, you know, that aspect of, hey, maybe we need to blow it away and start over. And it you know, sounds worse mm -hmm. than it really is, mm -hmm. but the reality is, to, to your point, they've matured. You know, the right. platform has matured. 
well, maybe you had to build that in because it wasn't mature enough and you were maybe a little bit further along. So now why not take advantage of the capability? It might be slightly different than what you had, but ultimately, are you really doing it differently? Right. And now, yeah, you can take advantage of, hey, we're not maintaining this ourselves. And with that, we get the advantage of all the other capabilities that are fully integrated into that, again, without maintenance and integration. And if, let's say, you did your implementation five years ago, right, more than likely, um, you went data free, right? Yep. You started with a new line, mm -hmm. right? Well, the nice thing is, is if we're going to pull your existing service now and we're going to replatform, right, we're going to pull your data. Right. You're not, you're not losing the you're data. Not losing you're not losing it, your right? performance mm -hmm. analytics background. Yep. You're not, we want all that because in order to take advantage of the strong machine learning capabilities, mm -hmm. we right. need those data sets, right? Yes. right? Uh, and going from service now to service now, well, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right. It, you know, that's a data mapping exercise. That's a, yeah. you know, you take one, one, one good analyst on your team that yeah. can do that. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and, and it's not all of it, right? It's just, you know, if there happen to be a few components, few elements that you created, that's really the only mm -hmm. other ones, because obviously ServiceNow has handled that migration to, yeah. to the next one. So you're really only looking at those handful or whatever that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've actually done some things where there was a lot of custom fields that were added, especially like in incident change from a few years ago. And we're going to capture all that information because the company now agrees that they don't need all that. Right. You're going to capture that historically by putting it into the comments yeah. or putting it into a historic field. So something that you can keep that record and keep those things going, but it's not going to affect your data yeah. moving forward. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So, what's the you know, when you go to a customer and you say we think you need to blow blow this away and <laughs> start again? What you should do that from the phone, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of reaction do you get to that? That would scare well, you know, a lot of people. Well, you know, it's funny. Um, that's why they're coming to us in the first place. Right. You know, like mm. so when when we're going in net new to a customer, yeah. we're not having that conversation because yeah. we're saying, hey, yeah. let's yeah. let's let's yeah. talk about where you're going to go with ServiceNow. Sure. Yeah. But we're, we're actually getting a lot of opportunities where people are now coming and they're saying, hey, we've had ServiceNow for three years and I need to get more value out of the platform, right? right? Cause I mean, let's be honest, it's not cheap, yeah. no. right? And you know, um, there's some ways to reduce your costs, but the better way is to increase your value, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So more than likely, you have applications that you're not using, that you are paying for. More than likely, you are not getting uh, the best automation, right? And so that's a huge area where there's, and in order to do some of these things, like so like um, knowledge management's another area, right? So if you implement it in Fuji, right? The knowledge management tool is totally different now. It's, right. it's literally a mm -hmm. different, set of code, you have to. Yeah, you can't. You can't just turn it, do. right? Yep. So that's an e easy situation. Yep. So if we come in and we look at your, if everything's good, right, we don't suggest blowing it up. Right. But we're having like our own internal instance, because we, CAI also does lots of other things besides ServiceNow. Uh, we do service desk mm -hmm. and we do um, application uh, maintenance. Yep. Uh, we do vendor management. Um, we do some work in the autism to work area. So we do a lot of, uh, of different things. We do work for government. Um, so we have our own instance that we run our business on, but we also use it as an MSP, mm -hmm. right? So we have a big domain separated instance that's full of the, the worst things you can do to yourself <laughs> in service now. Right. And we're in the process right now of being like, I think we're going to have to blow we it need up. To, we need to call <laughs> one of our own people to come right. like, uh, Yeah. You know, and, and it's like, we, you know, we've been in, a, in an area where we can keep moving forward. Right. And now it's like, you know, we're doing all so much with uh, Service Portal. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hey, you know, we, we were looking at some of these UX changes that are coming and uh, UI changes. And it's like, in order to truly leverage right. all of that, we're going to have to, we're, we're, we're going to have to take our, our own dog food. I see. I hate that yeah. one. I know. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, I know. It's drink our own champagne. Right. Yeah, that, that, that is a lot more better, delicate. It? Yeah, it's yeah. a lot more delicate. Uh, <laughs> my, my my boss Rob Richel, when I first started working for him, was always, "We're going to eat our own dog food," and it's like, Rob, let's, I don't let's, like dog food. Let's, <laughs> let's drink our own champagne. <laughs> So uh, on that, on the champagne note, toast to you. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on uh, all the good work. Um, thanks for coming on with us. Yeah. Uh, it's been thanks, great. Thanks, both. It's been great. It's yeah. super okay. fun. Thank thanks you. Thank lot. you.